Hello Beach Bums, welcome back to Cape Cod. Hanging out with these guys again, Ninja Tackle. This is something that um, is actually famous. We are at the Cape Cod Canal. This is uh, very widely known as a spot to come and catch gigantic striper. And they have this really cool bridge too that uh, is like an elevator that we saw. Yeah, I just missed it. I know, I wish I could show you, but it, it was happening as we pulled up. We got fog rolling in, which is a very common theme here in Cape Cod. And uh, we are hopefully gonna catch some big striper, but this is our first attempt in the canal. We'll probably try a few more times. Let's get to fishing. So I've got tied on this pretty heavy swim bait. I think it's three ounce jig head, just a little swim bait here. I picked up at a local tackle store. They explained that it was kind of designed for this canal. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing, so I took their word for it, but <laughs> I've picked up some other heavy swim baits. I'm just gonna throw it out. They said to throw it out straight not up current. It's got pretty good action on this thing. I'm just gonna try a straight retrieve. I've kind of been jigging it. They did recommend to reel slow. We're still early in the season, so the water temp is still kind of cold. We took a little break. We were casting and casting and casting. We casted a lot. We had to give ourselves a minute, but we're back and the tide has shifted it's now going the opposite direction and the technique that we were taught by some of the locals is to let this sink down for about 10 seconds and then we're just going to be jigging it in the current just like this and once that lure kind of gets back to where it's getting shallow again, we'll just reel it in. But this water is very deep. It's like 50, 60 feet deep. And this current is moving pretty good. We're making a walk to a different location. We were on the other side of this little slough thing here, but uh, we're trying to walk over to this point, explore it a little bit, trying to find some fish. Oh, you all right? Yep. Careful. I was sliding, so I had to get off that rock. Use your hands if you need to. Oh, there we go. Good. We're good. Do they have snakes? I'm not sure. I don't think, I don't think it's real snaky up here. Wouldn't think so, anyway. Oh, the adventures that we get into. Uh, okay. Good morning. Back on the canal. Yeah, we can move. Change it up. Oh, got him, got him. Oh God, first hook up in the canal. Oh gosh, feels like a big fish, dude. Bigger than anything I've hooked this week. Woo, let's get him. On the Savage Gear, Ill. Oh, I've got my drag tight. And he's pulling. Oh my goodness. Wow. That is not loose drag. Ugh. Good gracious. I'm shaking guys. This could be yeah, I may need help. <clears throat> Come here, baby. Oh, this is a good fish. This is a good fish. I think this is why you come <laughs> to Cape Cod Canal. I know they get bigger, but they don't have the giant ones in here yet. Woo! Yeah. Just to try to figure it out. I may just need you to hold my rod and I'll go down and try to get him. Go! 
<laughs> that is a toad striper. Good gracious. I, I, I'll go get them. Oh my gosh. Man, oh my gosh. That is a beast. Here, if you just want to hold the rod. Here, I'll go get them. Or you, you want to get them? I'm Can you? To. Okay. Holy cow, I got to get a freaking picture with that thing. Oh, trying to help you. Yeah. Uh, let's get a quick idea here. Yeah, it's over. 38. 38 incher. Unbelievable. Cape Cod. Huge striper. 38 inches. Unbelievable. This is why we come out here. We're going to get her back. Him, her. Try not to kill ourselves. Uh, uh, what a beast. What a beast. There she goes. Holy smokes. Just caught a giant. Come out here and accomplish something like that. This is what I've been throwing this morning. This is a Savage Gear sand eel. It's a seven and a half inch swim bait, basically, with a three and a half ounce jig head. I'm coming, John. John is hooked up. I'm getting to him. These rocks are sketchy. Biggin? Biggin? <laughs> Heck yeah. Not as big as that, but I'll take it. Awesome, dude. This might be slot. It might be. I, I got the tape. There we go. Nice work, John. Thank you, sir. Beautiful fish. John might have just called us some dinner. Heck yeah. They got to be 28 to 35. And I think, <sighs> I think you're going to be in it, dude. Dude, it's awesome. Cape Cod Canal, baby. Can't say anything about it. Dude, it's been a great trip. It has. It, I, mean, I mean, incredible. This right here is just icing on the cake, man. <laughs> so cool. We'll get a stick on her. Beautiful. Uh, she's like 30, like 30, 30 and a half. That's slot fish. Slot fish? Slot fish. Dude, <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome, man. Um, you got a knife? We can bleed her. We've got our nice slot striper. We've been looking for one this week. I got uh, one that was over slot this morning. But John, thank you very much for providing this meal. He doesn't eat fish. He's allergic to it. But he's catching the keepers for us. We're gonna get this guy cleaned up. We're gonna cook him up tonight. Should be delicious. I've had striper before. I don't think I've ever done a striper catch and cook on the channel though. But when in Cape Cod, I think you should. Oh yeah, beautiful white meat. They have a huge backbone, very raised. So I'm just angling my knife down. I don't know if you can tell, but that's like really raised up right there. So if you just cut straight down the fish, you'll lose more meat that way. You got a pretty tough rib cage. I'm just cutting around it. Look at that, that is just gorgeous. Nice slab of meat. Don't let me cut you, John. <laughs> there we go. Man, this is such a good looking fish. They do have a pronounced bloodline, that's okay we'll cut some of that out but when you eat fish fresh i've said this before you uh you don't necessarily have to that bloodline is not fishy as long as you eat it fresh once it sits in the fridge for several days or if you uh that's the pin bones there just getting those out um, 
or if you freeze it, that bloodline gets real fishy, but we'll remove some of that. it a little bit better but we still got our fillet intact beautiful striper fillet that's gonna be so good getting our striper ready we have lost all of our seasonings so all we have today is salt and pepper uh is that oil it is oil a little oil okay you gonna throw some butter on there too or just, just rocking the oil and yes we're gonna throw butter butter on there okay all right but yeah so butter salt and pepper you can't go wrong but look at these striper fillets they are white as they can get Beautiful, a little bit of bloodline left right there. Well, not bloodline, but just a little red meat. But again, we're eating this fresh. It will not taste fishy. It'll be delicious. Oh, this is going to rock out. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, this is going to be some good stuff. Again, thank you, John. Uh, you know, Anytime. you got another pizza somewhere? <laughs> no. What, some good. leftovers? <laughs> no. Yeah, no pizza tonight. Slapping it on the grill. We got our butter melted on there. Salt, pepper. Very simple. So this will be... Very good. I've actually only ever eaten striper like two times, so I haven't eaten it a whole lot. Oh yeah. I think it's gonna taste better being from Cape Cod. <laughs> what, what do you think, Matt? Do you think Cape Cod's gonna taste better than striper from anywhere else? It's, honestly, it's, it's gonna, gonna taste, taste better just cause I caught it. <laughs> actually, it's gonna taste better cause I cooked it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're ready. Ladies, come make your plates. Okay. This is probably your first striper experience. Yes, it is. I don't think you've ever had striper. And you've only had it once, I think. So there we go. I hope I didn't mess this up. I can't keep up with it. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot to keep up with. I don't remember. Easy. We had a long day in yeah. Boston. Yeah, you went to Boston today. Boston. We saw the Boston Harbor. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. I like that. I can't do it. I'm too country. I'm like, Boston Harbor. You know, like, I can't. You're like a... A Redneck, Boston, Massachusetts. <laughs> You're going to get a good idea of what striper really tastes like because it's pretty pretty basic. We did put a lot of Matt butter on it. Or Matt put a lot of butter on it. So it's going to taste a little buttery, which, you know. You, I mean, I love butter. Yeah, I mean, well, me too. It Who doesn't? doesn't? Like <laughs> it's going to be delicious. All right, we've got our striper. We're ready to eat. Uh, ladies, you want to go first again? Y'all try it? Vicky? Oh, that's delicious. Yeah. I mean, that's very good. It's easy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, we, you're right. You did good. We didn't mm -hmm. eat anything. Oh, my word. This is really good. Yeah, we don't have, we don't have all of our ingredients, yeah. but I think I think it's, it's a good. very mild fish. I mean, which is not a bad thing. That's, that's yeah, bad thing. yeah, oh, yeah, no. We, we, we like mild fish. Oh, yeah. This is delicious. It's really good. Fantastic. Oh, all right. Thank you. All right, right Matt. So I'm two yeah. for two, right? Yeah, two, yeah, two, two, two for two. Two for two. Yeah, go, go right, for it, Matt. Here we go. Here we go. I'm seriously. I need more catching cooks in my life. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is good. Mm -hmm. Cape Cod, striper. Really good. Liquid Thank calories. <laughs> Liquid calories. <laughs> I'm going to try a bite here of John's striper. <laughs> it, it looks so good. From start to finish, you can just tell this is a extremely white, delicious mm -hmm. looking fish. Mm -hmm. That is so good. Mm -hmm. And you can cook it so many ways, mm -hmm. and that would still be delicious. Mm -hmm. So we spent several hours fishing the canal, throwing big lures, mostly big swim baits, paddle tails, jigging. We tried several different locations. We talked to a lot of tackle stores and locals to get info on where would be hot spots or areas that may be productive. And they were all very helpful. Like they gave us a lot of really good information, but we knew that the canal was going to be a grind. And so we just continued to put in the time, put in the effort, making the casts, trying to find these big fish because that's the information that we had is that a lot of the bigger fish that were at the front side of this run were in the canal. That's where they were catching a lot of the slot fish and the overslot fish. So we kept kept getting back to the canal, even though we knew some areas that were productive already, we really wanted to find those bigger striper. To come up here and scratch off so many goals for this trip, I just, I, I can't even really put it into words. I wanted to come and catch a striper from the sand, check. I wanted to come and catch striper on top water, which I'd never done, check. I wanted to come and catch a new species, and potentially do a catch and cook with the tatog. That was our, our main new species target. Check. 
And then on top of that, I wanted to get my personal best striper check uh, it, to come to an area that you've never been before and have that level of success. I just, I can't even wrap my mind around it. This place is incredible. Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Thank you. This is just a beautiful place with incredible fishing. I've talked about this a little bit throughout these videos. This is their striper run. These fish do migrate north of the coast kind of as water temperatures continue to rise. W the area that we're in, the timing of it, you know, it changes year to year a little bit, but the timing of it, we are a little early. So most of the fish that are here are those smaller fish, what they consider smaller fish. I'm happy with a lot of them, <laughs> but this is a really quality, a 38 inch striper during this period of time of their run is a incredible catch. They're not catching very many larger than that right now. So awesome, awesome catch. And it happens to be my personal best. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed these videos. If you have, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're still watching and you haven't subscribed for some reason, please hit the subscribe button. We really appreciate it. And as always, you stay bummy.